a mother is behind bars tonight after her six children were found abandoned inside of their home. Yeah, this all happened at the trailer home on Latana Street. The youngest of those kids is a five month old baby. Well, Arlena Rodriguez spoke to neighbors who tell us what they saw that day and what's next for these kids in this developing story. Reina. Yeah, six children ages five months to nine years old found inside a home with no adult supervision and living under unsuitable conditions. Now, that's how police found these kids on Sunday. It was just cops everywhere down the street. This woman who wished to remain anonymous, recalling what she saw Sunday afternoon near her home on the 700 block of Lantana Street. Police responding to a call of abuse, a home here housing small children. We were outside and we noticed that they were taking, I think, like four or five kids. And one of them was like a three-year-old baby. The police report reveals a nine-year-old answered the door, telling officers she was left at home by herself and her siblings for approximately five days because her mom, quote, needed to make money. Officers noticed one child had bruises and cuts on his face. Two of them had dirty diapers. Another seemed to be dehydrated. Medics were called to check on the children because they looked malnourished and stuck inside a home with hot temperatures for an unknown amount of time, the report states. At one point, an officer reaching out to neighbors for help. He asked my husband for a bottle because I guess one of the kids had an eight. I don't know, even a day or so. The mother of those children, 27-year-old Nautica Dunning, showed up initially telling police she had paid a family member to look after the kids, but later admitting she had willingly left her children by themselves and had been out the previous night with her friend at that shot bar. I wanted to cry because, you know, like, how can they do that to kids? especially like not feed them or like just forget about them. Neighbors say the location is no stranger to the presence of police. They tell us about an incident from several weeks ago involving the same home where the children were found. They, they saw him break their, their SUV window. I don't know with what. I think they took him because we had never seen him since. On Sunday, police were able to contact Lucas Loya, who is in the Nueces County Jail, for other charges against Nautica. According to the report, Loya told police the nine-year-old called and asked if he could call their mother to return home because they had been left alone. Dunning was arrested and charged with six counts of child abandonment. She is currently under custody on a $100,000 bond. And Child Protective Services has been granted custody of the children for now. They have been placed in foster care. Pat? What happens as far as the future of the children is concerned? Well, Pat, Child Protective Services told me that a hearing will be held next week. The family of the children, including the parents, will have an opportunity to address the court. The purpose of that hearing will be to determine if the children will remain in foster care or if they will be returned to their family. In the studio, Reina Rodriguez, Chris 6 News. Reina, thank you so much. Stories like these are just never easy to hear. And while there's a clear solution on how to stop child abuse and neglect, there are a few signs you can look out for. Does the child seem depressed, scared of a certain adult, or have sudden changes in eating or sleeping? Do they have trouble trusting others or making friends? Poor hygiene, inappropriate sexual behavior, and hostility are also often signs of family problems. The child could be neglected or physically, sexually, or emotionally abused. If you suspect a child may be abused or neglected, make a report to Child Protective Services or your local police. When speaking to the child, be sure to listen carefully and assure them that they did the right thing and are not responsible for what happened. Here's a list of numbers for Child Protective Services in Corpus Christi, Robstown, and Kingsville.